the recently released new and improved shapes had a major backlash with many fans disliking them and turning away from the company. For a long time, Shapes have been the leading brand in the type of biscuits which I'm going to refer to as savoury snack bites. Just looking at the price for this market range shows this. While Woolworths Blast and Coles Barbecue Snack Bites are both $1.40 and Aldi's Snackos are a measly $1.29, Arnott Shapes are more than double this with a $3 price tag. However, due to their popularity, people would still buy the original shapes over the alternatives in the market. I went out and compared the new and improved shapes with the originals and also the competition in the market on a scale of health star rating and crunch factor. And we can see that the shapes have been, and now are even more so, healthier than their competition. While the Audi Snackos didn't have a health star rating, after looking at the nutritional information, I deem them to be on par with the Blast and Barbecue Snack Bites. However, in relation to crunchiness, the new and improved shapes were far softer than the rest of the competition, going down here while the rest of the shapes were up here. This could be a factor into the new and improved shapes being a flop. Now onto the flavour. Flavour is incredibly important for the savoury snack bite range, as shown by the packets. Snackos advertise the flavoured snacks and they push a tasty and full of flavour line. Blasts scream out the bursting with flavour. Original shapes tell you that they have flavour you can see, or the new and improved shapes argue that they are now with more flavour. So as you can see, flavour is incredibly important with the genre. So, with flavour seemingly being this important in the savoury snack bite game, let's compare this with the rest of the market. So, as you can see, new and improved shapes have the most flavour compared to other brands. However, while the rest are mostly salty, the new and improved shapes have more of a sweet, sugary taste. This is completely different to the rest of the market. This could be why they are so despised by people who are a fan of shapes, because they break the expectations people have about them. Looking at savoury biscuit eaters in Australia, we see that amongst all ages, people eat savoury biscuits, with a majority aged, aged from 14 to 17 years. So this would be a major target age group, as well as the parents who purchase these biscuits for this age range as a school snack. To this, tactics must be used that will persuade this age range, like pushing the fact that new and improved shapes are the healthiest of their kind, sustainable, and not have now have no flavour enhancers. So some objectives for this advertising campaign would be 1. To inform 70% of parents and teenagers that the new and improved shapes are healthier than the originals and the others in the market within the next 5 months. This would appeal to parents who buy food for their children's school lunches as they would want healthy snacks for their kids. Also, in recent times, people have been more concerned for their health, so this would be a major appeal to these people. Objective 2. To enforce to 80% of shape lovers that this is a new type of shape and not a replacement for the originals within the next three months. So one of the major points of outrage among consumers was that their beloved barbecue shapes were having a recipe change. People have come to love the old shapes over a time, so to change them was not met well. Shapes, however, have multiple ranges, including their originals, savoury, and light and crispy ranges. So what I'm suggesting is to start a new range called, like, Flavour Burst or something like that, so that they are seen as a different range and not a replacement to the originals. Because, as the saying goes, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. And finally, the third objective. The goal is to convince 40% of parents to purchase the new and improved shapes over the competition savoury snack bites within the next five months. So as stated earlier, instead of marketing the new and improved shapes as a replacement to the original shapes, I said they could be packaged as a healthy, more flavourful, or having a bounced alternative. For television ads, something like this could be shown. The location is a schoolyard at lunch break. Enter Cecil. He has a blank box of savoury snack bites. On the box is a 1.5 health star rating. Now Cecil is not what the average person would consider healthy. He sits down on the bench, 
eating his savoury snack bites alone. The camera slowly zooms out from Cecil as he eats his snack bites until Clarence runs in front of the camera. Clarence is what the average person would consider healthy. He's just kicked a goal in the schoolyard football game and he's celebrating with his teammates by cracking open a box of new and improved shapes. Cut back to Cecil. He's intrigued by the new and improved shapes that Clarence is holding. He puts down his box of savoury snack bites and walks up to the group. Upon arrival at the group, Cecil asks Clarence if he can play. And Clarence says, sure, and hands him a new and improved shape. Cecil takes the shape and upon eating it, power rushes through him. He looks tougher. He looks thinner. He looks healthier. The ball comes Cecil's way. He weaves it through the crowd and promptly kicks a goal and then celebrates with the other boys and girls. The catchphrase, get back into shape with the new shapes, flavour bursts. Now with a higher health rating, you can get into the game with more bounce. This ad fits the marketing ad objective as it shows that the shapes are healthier and an alternative to original shapes, not a replacement. This works both for parents who are concerned about their children's health and shape enthusiasts that are worried about their precious original shapes getting replaced. So most of the advertising will be done through TV and outdoor advertising as this is where the target market is most likely to see it. For TV advertising, a good part of it can be during sports matches like football or cricket as many kids and parents watch these together and separately so this would be a great time to reach the target markets. For during football times, you can have the football ad, as I stated above, and as different ads are released or while it's cricket season, the ads can follow Cecil in different situations, like Rhonda in the Amy car insurance ads. Outdoor ads would most likely be effective on billboards, as parents are more likely to have cars for transportation over trains and trams, so tram stop or train station posters probably wouldn't be as effective. And that is my advertising campaign to remarket and sell new and improved shapes. And remember, find that new and improved you with new and improved shapes.